Hey guys, it's Betty here, and today I'm going to be talking about field strips. Okay, so let's start off by saying happy Sunday, or should I say Sunday bum day, because usually Sundays are my bum days, because I have homework and I have school tomorrow, and meh. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'm super tired. I probably look really tired, but I wanted to get this video out, um, especially since I said I wanted to get a video out every single week. Um, also, happy February 1st. It's finally February. I can't believe January has passed so fast. Um, so let's get on with the topic, field trips. So last Friday, I believe January 29th, I'm not sure, so, um, January 30th? Was last Friday, January 30th? I'm not sure. Anyways, I went to a field trip on my, uh, with my school, um, not the whole school, but with my 8th grade class, like, actually half of my 8th grade classes, because 8th grade is split into two teams, so my team, I guess, my team and I went to, uh, Chicago to the Field Museum, and, uh, it was really, like, I guess, fun, but the downside of going to field trips when you're in middle school and when you get older, I guess, when you're in high school, whatever, you have to fill out, like, packets or do work when you go to field trips, which kind of sucks because you don't have as much time to actually take everything in without worrying about writing down the answers to all these questions. I mean, this time, the packet that we got for this field trip was about science, and uh, we went to this field museum, especially to go see the Evolving Planet exhibit, um, to, because we were learning about, like, Earth and the evolving planet, I guess you want to call it, in science. And um, we had to fill out a whole bunch of questions in that exhibit, and we went through the questions so fast, and we had to go through the questions really fast or we'll run out of time, because we have to be back to school at a certain time. Um, we, uh, we went through the questions so fast that I don't even remember any of the questions, or anything that I learned at all. I, I mean, I feel so bad that I didn't learn anything, but I didn't learn anything because we went through it so like quickly. We didn't have time to actually enjoy and take in everything, soak everything in. Um, and I bet that's the case for a lot of people. Uh, they had to go through the packet really fast and just did it because they had to do it. Uh, if I had, it was like on my own terms and we did have to do the packet, I would totally just walk around and actually learn something. Um, but I did like the uh, exhibit, like the nature walk. I really liked that. I saw these animals. I took a lot of pictures. Uh, I think it was 144 pictures exact. I didn't get to take pictures of everything because I was in charge of writing. And also, uh, like we had to go through through things like quickly. And I had to like pause, take picture, pause, take picture, and uh, I had to keep up with my group so I didn't get lost. So. Um, so it wasn't the like ideal time to take pictures, I guess, but I mean, the, this field trip to the field museum is like basically my only time to go to the field museum because one adult ticket to go to the field museum is $97, I believe, and a child ticket is $75. I'm like, is, that's kind of ridiculous for a, a ticket to go to a museum. Are you serious? But I mean, I, I know the museum has to make money somehow, but that's a lot of money for a ticket, and I will not be able to go there, at least soon, I guess. That's a lot of money. I got to see Sue on the uh, T-Rex, Ty Tyrannosaurus Rex that they have. It's, I, I'm not sure what my science teacher said, but she's like the largest T-Rex they found, and it's, uh, it's in like... I don't know, um, the largest T-Rex they found in America, I'm not sure, um, they found it in like somewhere in Indiana, but um, I'm not, I don't really remember what she said, but something like that, and it was really cool to see a Tyrannosaurus Rex, I'm not sure if it's her real bones, I, I'm like kind of, I'm pretty sure it's her real bones, but I'm not entirely sure, but it was really cool to see that in person, because I've always seen that kind of stuff in movies, especially Night at the Museum, I love that movie. Um, I also got to see a whole bunch of like, I don't know, like information about scientists and stuff like that. That was interesting as well. Um, but I didn't really get to see the exhibits that I wanted to see. I had to go in a group. So people in my group wanted to see this, other people wanted to see this, so we kind of had to 
go with the people that, yeah, it was really confusing to explain, but I do wish that I can go, like, on my own or with my friend, like, at least one friend, like, not, not by myself, because I would just feel kind of awkward not talking to someone, but with my best friend, for example, I wish I would be able to go to the Field Museum with her, um, Anna, that's her name, um, just to like walk around on our own terms and not do a packet and just take pictures and just absorb all the information that we want to learn and we want to see. But uh, yeah, but overall it was kind of fun. At least I got the experience to go to the Field Museum. Um, it was $15 like to pay for actually four field trips that we're going to, I'm going to be uh, going to throughout 8th grade. We only went to 3, so only one more field trip, but that's $15 for 4 field trips. That's that's a, quite a deal because considering like to go to the film museum, it's $97 per adult and $75 per child. I mean, that's quite a deal to go in for basically free. free, free sorry. Um, but, I mean, Packet kind of ruined everything my opinion so yeah that's my intake on field trips and I'm thinking about it why do they call it field trips I mean we're field trips shouldn't they call it like school trips I have no idea why they call them field trips but if you can uh, explain that to me that would be great in the comments and I can read your comment reply to it maybe uh, and I hope you like this video it's time for me to end it because it's getting late and I'm getting really tired uh, so please hit the like button if you liked and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, I will be posting videos every single week and if not then I'll be posting more than one video every single week if I have time. Um, I hope you like this video and if you want to see more, like I said before, subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye!